What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm going to be bringing you guys another how-to video. But in today's video we're going to be tackling one of the age-old questions, a question that I get a ton in my DMs and that question is how much are my cards worth? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the steps you need to take to accurately price your cards. And this way, you'll always know what the value of your cards are, but you're also going to be able to know the value of other people's cards if you are looking to purchase. Now, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. I upload five days a week. We do deck profiles, combo videos, duels, all that kind of good stuff, as well as these how-to videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And with that, let's get into how to correctly price your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, just before we get into the video where I show you guys how to price your cards, there are some Yu-Gi-Oh card basics that you need to know. So this is gonna be a quick Yu-Gi-Oh card crash course. And once you know these basics, everything becomes so much easier. So first thing we're gonna talk about is rarities. This is a common, doesn't have any foiling. This is a rare, you have the silver lettering on top. This is a super rare, the foiling is on the image, as well as on the new ones, you have it on the stars as well as the attribute. However, the lettering has no foiling on the name. Then you have an ultra rare where it's gold lettering as well as the same foil as a super you just have the gold lettering here as well here's a secret rare it's more of a glitter foiling you also have that same glitter on the name as well as the attribute in this case it's a trap so there's no attribute here's an ultimate rare in ultimate rare you have the foiling all over the card this is a gold rare of course you can tell there's gold borders and this is a dual terminal rare now there are some other rarities but these are the main ones that you're going to need to know a lot of the other ones konami did as like a one-time thing or a special event thing so you won't see them too often these are the main ones you're going to need to know now another important aspect of valuing your cards correctly is card conditions. Card conditions can range from near mint, which is the best condition you can get, all the way down to damage. And the price drastically differs depending on the card being either near mint, lightly played, moderately played, heavily played, and or damage. This is an example of a card that you would consider near mint. As you guys can see, there are no scratches on the card. There's no whitening on any of the edges. There are no bends in the card as well. Same thing with the back here. So this is what you would consider a near mint card. Pretty much anything without any flaws would be considered near mint. Now here's an example of a card that would be more so considered heavily played. You guys can see that there's dents all over the top. There's a dent over here. There's even a dent on the bottom corner over here. So without even looking at the back, you guys can see this card is pretty played. And now yes, conditions can be subjective. What might be lightly played to one person can be moderately played to another person. So there are obviously some kind of discrepancies. However, if you're just in the general ballpark and you know what you're talking about, there should be no issues. So yeah, just keep in mind that if you guys see damages like these, these cards are more towards the played side of things. Now there are two more quick but really important things you have to keep in mind when valuing your Yu-Gi-Oh cards and that is addition and the set that the card comes from. So if you're looking at your Yu-Gi-Oh card, doesn't matter what it is, every Yu-Gi-Oh card will have what I like to call a card code. And over here, you guys can see the card code is Dane, D-A-N-E-E-N-033. So when you go online, you can actually search up this code and it actually will take you to this card specifically. Now, the other thing that I mentioned is addition. You guys can see here that this card is a first edition card, meaning that for this print of the card, this was among the first batch of cards to be released. However, here is the exact same card and if you guys were to tell me what the difference is you guys can see that on this one there is no first edition stamp so this card is unlimited and this card is first edition first editions tend to be more expensive and depending on the card it could be drastically different okay so now that you have the basics down of what a Yu-Gi-Oh card is where to look at on the Yu-Gi-Oh card what the condition of the Yu-Gi-Oh card is now that you have all that down you can go online and accurately find the price now one of the most trusted sources is TCG player you guys can see TCG player.com and honestly if you guys are going to purchase cards and want to help support the channel i do have an affiliate link in the description below you guys can check it out tcg player is my personal favorite place to go to to accurately price your cards now keep in mind with tcg player the prices are in usd so for that reason if you're canadian or anywhere around the world make sure to convert to your currency now here's one thing you also need to know about tcg player so remember on the Yu Gi Oh card when i showed you each card has the specific code the set that it's from and the specific card number well unfortunately on tcg player you actually can't search up a card using that method you have to search it up by the name however the really nice thing is if you go to any set here in Yu-Gi-Oh what you can actually do is when you do search up the name it does a really nice thing where it has the code right over here so this card for example is Daifo EN015 
Dean. So yes, you can't search up this code. However, if you do search up a name, let's just say there's a card like Blue Eyes, which Blue Eyes has a ton of printings, right? And you look at the Blue Eyes, there's going to be a ton of different Blue Eyes. But if you want to look for specifically the one you're looking for, don't, of course, just go by the artwork because as you guys can see, there's multiple different cards with the same artwork. You want to go by the code here. So let's say you have the maximum gold one, the MGED. This is where you're going to be looking at. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you guys are going to see a dollar fifteen and two dollars eleven cents, and you guys might be thinking, Spanko, why are there different prices? What you're going to want to really do is press the card, and this is what I like to do. First of all, you see this three dollars twenty six cents. This is just a direct by TCG player. This is just something that they're promoting. This is not necessarily the price. What I personally like to do is right here. There's that little section that says latest sales. Now, when you go to view sales history, it'll show you the condition of the card, the addition of the card, and how much it's sold for. So you guys can see the most recent one did sell for $3. However, there's another one that sold for a dollar, a dollar, here's $4. Now it also says the date that they sold. And because all of these different prices all sold on the same day, if you are looking to know how much your card value is, you can just look between these like, okay, some sold for a dollar, some sold for $3, some sold for four. Let's just go like 250 is the median price. Boom. There you go. 250 is what you're looking for. Another thing you can do is actually continue to scroll down here. And here it's going to say some of the listings that are currently up. So here you guys can see that if I wanted to buy one right now, I could buy one for $1.25. So that approximately is what the value of your card is. Keep in mind, the addition is also very, very important. And this blue eyes right here is a really good example. Now, keep in mind, you guys can do this with any card. It's not just blue eyes. Blue eyes is just a really good example because there's so many different printings of blue eyes that I can show you all these different examples. So here you're going to see $2.00. 80 cents versus 36 dollars and 28 cents you guys might be like okay that's a huge discrepancy well this card comes in both unlimited and in first edition and that makes a really big difference when it comes to a lot of cards so we're going to scroll down here first of all let's just skip the sold section for now because i just want to show you guys the different conditions the different listings first then we can go to the sold section so here in the listings you're going to see damaged unlimited that means the condition is damaged and the card is unlimited print it's not first edition now let's say you have your card in front of you and you see that's a first edition card. The really nice thing is right here, you guys can toggle first edition and it's only gonna show you first edition listings. On top of that, it's still gonna show you guys the condition. So here's a model he played one. This one's actually in Spanish. Then there's a Portuguese one. Let's say yours is English. And here's like another Portuguese, Portuguese, Portuguese. Let's get to an English one. Let's just say here's a damage first edition in English, I guess. $99. I didn't even think they were that expensive, but I guess they are. So $100 right here is a damage first edition. Now, you don't want to necessarily always just go off the listings. I do want to show you guys the view sales history because sales are also really important. Just because a card is listed at $100 doesn't mean it'll ever sell for $100. So maybe it will. So let's check it out. So we're going to go on our sold listings here. We're going to go first edition. And let's say we say our card is damage like we said earlier right so view sales so damage first edition yeah there are a few damage first editions that sold here's one for 122 here's one for a hundred dollars this one was ten dollars uh but it wasn't in english okay so keep that in mind it wasn't in english but these english ones all sold for about 100 to 120 bucks so do you guys see why first of all i really like tcg player there's just so many options for you so let's say your card now isn't damaged let's say your card is near mint first edition all right so that's what you want to do you're going to press near mint here you're going to go view sales and here you're going to see this one yeah here they even have a picture on this one actually so here's a picture of a first edition blue eyes white dragon three hundred dollars and that's what it actually sold for all right here's another one for five hundred dollars that sold as well so now when you're dealing with some of these higher end cards you guys can see there's a price range and that's really up to you whatever you want to sell it at right so this is a great card to show you guys that there's multiple conditions that you can go through two different editions you can get the unlimited you can also get the first edition and then the prices drastically differ between them right so this is the exact same thing that you guys can do with any card it does not have to be blue eyes another card you could do this for is dark magician dark magician is a very iconic card as well that a lot of people have in their old collections let's say they have the starter deck yugi one that's the one of the first ones to ever come out so if you ever played this game as a kid you might actually have this one now the condition again will vary you can say okay mine is unlimited but mine is near mint so right here right under the unlimited there's also a near mint section now i want to say one thing when it comes to tcg player sometimes you do want to look for verified listings and that's what i personally like to do because it means that these sellers are verified sellers have a lot of experience and a lot of positive feedback so these ones here you guys can see do not have verified seller listings but this one does anything with a star is a verified seller so here it's a $17 mark here's one for the $19 mark so I just want to show you guys that listings can vary I personally like to use verified listings just because we know that this is a verified seller someone you can trust and then again you can go back up here you know yours is near mint but it's unlimited so we're gonna go to unlimited 
limited we're gonna go to near mint and we're gonna go view sales and yes you can see here that one sold for 11 one sold for 17 18 so the listings and the sold history was about right so boom your card is worth about 16 15 17 dollars something like that so now that i showed you guys how tcg player works i really want to show you guys how ebay works as well there are a lot of other sites you can use troll and toad ygo prices however i really don't like using those myself something like ygo prices takes listings from all over the place so the listings aren't going to be really accurate and it doesn't have any specifically sold listings troll and toad i don't know what it is about troll and toad but for some reason troll and toad's prices are always drastically different than everywhere else that's just me from my personal experience so we're not going to do troll and toad however ebay is a really really good source especially for older cards so let's look at ebay okay so here we are on ebay and here's the really cool thing about ebay unlike tcg player eBay, you can actually put in the code for some cards to search for them. So remember right here on TCG Player when we were looking at the Blue Eyes White Dragon, we can actually copy the number over here, the, ca the card code essentially, and then we can go on eBay, paste it, and boom. Here's what ends up happening. You have the card right in front of you. So the nice thing I like about eBay is that it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to search the card name. You can just search the card code and it comes up for you, right? So now here are some listings. You guys can see that there's a heavily played version for about 15 Canadian. I'm pretty sure eBay will automatically adjust the price based off of your location. And so if I want a heavily played condition blue eyes, it's about 15 bucks here and they have $17 shipping, which honestly is a crazy shipping amount. But yeah, so here are some listings, right? Again, the one thing that I like to do with eBay is I like to go to sold listings. Keep in mind that these blue eyes can come in first edition or it can come in unlimited edition. And you want to see when you look at these listings, you want to see which edition it is. Some of these just say original and don't say if it's first edition or unlimited edition. So in this case, if you do see a situation like this, what I would do is I would just message the seller and ask them directly, hey, is this card first edition or is it unlimited before you purchase the card? This way you know what you guys are getting. But on top of that, like I said, I still like to go to sold listings. So right here on the side, you guys can see a little tab that says sold items right at the bottom you're gonna press sold items and it's gonna show you guys some of the blue eyes that recently sold here's a picture of one this is an unlimited version it doesn't say a condition on it however if you open up the pictures it'll show you guys the condition this one has some corner play uh, I don't really see much else on it it looks not bad other than that white dinged corner I guess it doesn't look horrible at first glance I'd have to look at it a little bit more oh the back has some kind of whiting on the edges as well so this one sold for 1995 USD approximately 25 Canadian and this is an unlimited printing of the card so now you guys can kind of see like okay so a lightly played blue eyes white dragon unlimited edition about 25 bucks okay and you guys can keep scrolling here's another one that's $22 we can look at the condition as well later but this is exactly the thing that I like about eBay is that it just gives you so many options it gives you so many different sold listings you can compare them with TCG player and then try to get an average of those two and that's just basically it that's how you value your cards the most important thing is is to actually just know what you have. One of the biggest mistakes people make is thinking they have something super extremely rare without looking into it, and then you get your hopes up and it kind of sucks when you're let down, right? So make sure just the most important thing to know is knowing what you have and then when you know what you have, you can go online and accurately find prices. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I also hope you guys took something out of today's video. Now I will say if you are still new to this, it may still take some time for you to understand card conditions, how to deal when it comes to buying and selling. But I will say that if you have these basics down, it becomes a lot easier to learn. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. I appreciate you all. The goal is 10,000. I think we can get there soon. I believe in the Spanko Squad. If you're not subscribed just yet, become part of the Spanko Squad today. You don't want to miss out. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.